Yo, Ravens, Flock, Ravens Nation, Flock Nation, all that. Um, very, 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 very uh, tough, tough win, man. Um, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. I literally fell the fuck asleep. Literally fell asleep midway, a uh, couple minutes into halftime. Um, once I heard Lamar was hurt, I kind of checked out. And then I hear Likely go down. And then I hear uh, Queen go down. I said, yo, what the fuck is going on, man? Hey, yo. How? What is... Yo, Rome, why is he still here? Why? Why? But without further ado, let, let me say this too. Good game to Tyler Huntley to get a win in a situation like that. Uh, he seems to work well under pressure. Uh, he's done it before. He's been very close in the last games uh, for last season. Uh, I've been said, shouts out to All-22, I think that was me. Uh, I've been said this is around the time. I just made, made the video about this. This is around the time, literally, when Lamar got hurt and we fucked up the whole season. You know what I'm saying? And now, I'm going to say this part, too. I don't know if that was... Uh, uh, a certain situation that took place uh, only to highlight certain things. Because I found it very interesting going into the game. That's why I sat there and was like, yo, I hope everybody stay healthy. I hope Lamar stay healthy. Because I don't like this feeling right now. And sure enough, sure enough. People go down. JK is nowhere to be found. Uh, I'm not understanding what exactly. John, you can't, you cannot keep living on this, bro. You cannot keep. It's ugly, but it's us. Listen, listen. We ain't got to be sitting there saying I'm ugly and I'm proud all fucking day. We don't have to be that. We don't, we really don't, man. And I'm not coming at none of the wide receivers. I'm not coming at uh, none of the players in general. I'm just saying, just from what I didn't even watch the game for. I was hearing it again. It was way worse than how it was sounding. Uh, or it it was way worse how it sounded versus how it looked. Um, they didn't dare say out their mouth how dirty Denver Broncos was playing. They really was. They were trying to end a lot of our players' season. Uh, it, it was ridiculous how, how late they was trying to, you know, cause uh, injuries. And we just playing just to just to try to get a win. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't fucking with that aspect of it. But, you know, the better team won. So, that I'm, I'm, I'm glad about that. You know. But still, though, man. It, 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 it's apparent. Roman needs to go, yo. It's 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 evident. It's beyond. It's fucking yelling at us right now. I can't even say the 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 game plan was flowing much better or nothing like that because we should have scored way more points if it really was. But it's just crazy how he allows Tyler Huntley game to just look completely different than Lamar's and I feel like it's purposely done I truly do I feel like it's purposely done just so he can sit there and get that pat on the back or get that whatever recognition to make it seem like I did this it's not it's not uh me it's Lamar it, look it works for Huntley you know what I'm saying because that's how I feel and again it goes back to I still feel like Lamar and Greg got this unhidden beef from the Hollywood situation. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking, y'all. But that's how I'm perceiving it. Because for Lamar to leave the game in that fashion, didn't even come back. Lamar left the game. It was so many games last season where John was like, oh, Lamar, he has potential to play, possibility to play. Then Lamar don't play. It seems like leverage. It seems like leverage. And I'm not to say that, oh, look, look what y'all did without me. I'm just saying 
look at the offense when I'm out there versus when somebody else is out there. You can't tell me something's off, yo. How was it that Tyler Huntley got little to no practice and can come in and be efficient? Eight and eight on the fucking last drive. And all of a sudden, Lamar can't... Lamar, it's tough for him to find somebody to fuck open. Greg, you doing this shit on purpose, dog. I got no respect for you, dog. Um, Shouts out to the defense. Um, I don't know if the Bengals won yet. I didn't even check. Um, I don't know, yo. I really don't know what to make of it. Uh, It could be sabotage. I'm not discrediting this. I'm not denying those type of allegations but it's just ridiculous to me how Greg Roman is able to get away with this shit this is literally literally, excuse me this is literally literally a repeat of last season just with healthier people somewhat you know what I'm saying I don't I don't get it yo and again, I'm still waiting to hear from EDC and Biscotti. Like, are y'all, are y'all watching these games? Why are y'all so silent doing shit like this? And then John can come out there and wave his motherfucking uh, uh, head coach flag and sit there and say, look, we won. It's ugly, but it's us. Who has it better than us? Is that, is that what you... Is that what you describing the situation as? John. John. I think you would be a great coach for the fucking Browns. Honestly. I I, I really do. I seriously do. I really think you'll be a great coach for the fucking Browns. Because you're not a great one for, for, for the Ravens. Yeah, yeah, your coaching tree sucks. Nobody has flourished. All your draft picks look like shit. You paid McCarry. McCarry look like shit. Falele look like shit. I haven't heard Travis Jones. I mean, I ain't gonna get on defense right now. I, I'm, I'm just ranting. I just don't understand, yo. And then this motherfucker, Roman says you might get two targets you might get eight it's all about we are you fucking serious what sense does that who the fuck else is getting targets that's mattering who fucking Tyler Huntley had a fucking QB sneak that's what got us a touchdown a design QB run. That's what got us a touchdown. Ain't no fucking targets. Yo, that shit made me so angry, yo. Please, Stanford, what are y'all waiting on? What are y'all waiting for? Y'all can have this motherfucker right now. Right now. Yo. Greg, John getting paid nine to ten mil right now. If they offer you anywhere more than five million, you need to take that fucking job, dog. Get the fuck out of uh, Baltimore, bro. I hate you, bro. I do. You done wasted so many fucking years on this fucking team, dog. So much time, so much greatness from the mark. Look what you do. We're the fucking laughing stock of the NFL low key, yo. A fucking four and three, four, four and whatever team, three and whatever team just literally almost beat us. You make Lamar Jackson look like a fucking backup, dog.
Unbelievable, man. The fucking... Other than Tyler Huntley, the fucking game ball went to Kevon Seymour, who's on fucking special teams. Are you serious? I'm not giving up on, on, on the team, the, the, the players that wear the jersey. But this fucking coaching staff, I swear to God, dog. How do we end up with these people like this, yo? When you look at that whole coaching staff, right, as a whole, when you when you look at them face to face and all, I don't see nothing noteworthy. I don't see nothing legendary. I don't see nothing about wisdom. Nothing about having knowledge of the fucking game. They all look like motherfuckers who just got a job. Yo, y'all really almost had Russell Wilson about to look like Seattle Russell Wilson. It's, I don't know, yo. Is Lamar going to play the game now? I could take, I could deal with Huntley for two or three games. No bullshit. But is Lamar going to do what he did last year? Sit out the rest of the season? And this ain't no shot towards Lamar, bro, at all. But I'm just asking a legit question. Does Is Lamar disgruntled, low key? And he want Roman going, and the only way to get it done is to have another fucking losing season. You trying to sabotage my stats, so how about I sabotage the season? I'm not saying that's what Lamar doing at all. I don't, I don't know Lamar. I've never had words with him, nothing like that. So what I'm saying is just strictly my opinion, my thoughts after the game. It's not good, yo. I just, I, I just really need to hear from EDC, yo. Or, or at bare minimum, please let that fucking notification come across the screen. Greg Roman relieved of duties. Whatever, whatever y'all term y'all want to use to to lessen the fire fired part. Go right ahead. I don't give a fuck. I just want to see that notification come across my screen that Greg Roman is gone. Because this is ridiculous, yo. You didn't have four years. Four years damn near. With everybody keeps saying the same thing. With a generational talent QB. And you cannot do anything with him. Nothing. Y'all can say, oh, blame the receivers. The receivers not good. They're not getting separation. You honestly think with the this dude just said it don't matter if you get two or eight targets, we're trying to win the game. So it don't matter if we had D Hop, Megatron. He's not gonna sit there and cater the game around them. He's gonna make Lamar do all the work. Like motherfucking uh 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 Michael Jordan when he was on Moron Mountain. That's how Roman be treating Lamar. You're going to play chained up to a ball and, and uh, play all day long. And the little kid was in his, in his, his two, it was the one kid in the stand laughing and shit. I wish I could do the editing shit right now and I let that clip play right now. But that's how he the fuck doing Lamar. We on Moron Mountain. 
uh, Greg Roman Mountain. Got Lamar chained up by that heavy ass ball. The ball is the hit is Roman fucking plays. And Lamar gotta perform like some fucking uh uh show showroom dog or some showroom horse every fucking game. I don't even know who we got. I don't even care, yo. I'm just waiting for Roman to be gone. Honestly, if that motherfucker can be gone before the season is over, I honestly feel like we win a Super Bowl. I would. I'm not saying we're going to. I'm just saying that's how the emotions would be kind of familiar. It would be the same. I don't identical. Similar. I would jump for fucking joy. I might shed a tear. Man. I think it's time to hit the panic button. No bullshit. Real shit, yo. I think it's time to hit the panic button. Uh -uh. I tried to stall it out. I was hoping, even with the win, I was hoping we was going to get right. But now Lamar done got hurt, and now it, my questions come in, uh, my concerns come in, uh, is Lamar going to be able to finish the season? He was listed day-to-day -day last year with his ankle injury at one point and didn't play. But then we look, fucked up, didn't didn't do shit with the rest of the season. So is this a repeat? Is this Is this the final straw? that allows coaching to be uh, highlighted and dealt with. Is this the final straw between Lamar and the Ravens? What is this now? What do we do as Ravens fans now? We got a delusional ass coach saying it's ugly, but it's, but it's us. Granted, that works for certain situations, but dog, you can't excuse the shitty play calling in that game, dog. You can't. John, you cannot run from this, man. It needs to be addressed. And I wish the, the reporters had enough balls as they do asking Lamar crazy, stupid ass questions. I wish they had that same energy for John. Because I want to know what the fuck was that offensive? What the fuck was that offense? What was that offensively? Shouts out to Isaiah Likely too, man. Again, Denver Broncos was playing the fuck dirty. Um, I got no respect for them. I got no respect for Roman. Uh, it was good to see Kyle Hamilton back out there. Defense didn't give up not one touchdown, so that that was awesome to see. JPP was playing out of his mind again, so shots out to him. Um, shots out to Drake. Um, I did see Prochet with a catch. Uh, you know the offense they was trying, they was trying giving what they had to work with, but again, man, I'm just I'm just over this motherfucker Roman, yo. I'm just over it, yo. I'm over John, man. I'm sick of these two fucking idiots, yo. Sick of them, yo. Oh, yo, it's going to be a long week. Not really. But I, I'm just looking at it from the aspect our fucking starting QB left the game before halftime and never returned. And we had this happen last year. It's just raising questions for me, man. I ain't got no healing uh, antidote right now for nobody. Not even for myself. <laughs> I, I'm just... I, I'm, I don't know, y'all. 
I don't know. How the fuck we win and still feel like a loss? Ravens flock, Ravens nation, man. I'm out to the next one. Shouts out to the flock. Shouts out to Abdi Asan. Shouts out to Boogie Down EJ. Shouts out to Fresh Life. Shouts out to uh, All 22 Films. Um, shouts out to Pattern Room Sports Talk. Shouts out to No Pad, No Pencil Sports, man. I, I'm out, y'all.